David Goggins, Chris Williamson and Grant Cardone all have one thing in common. They all use Submagic to edit their videos. And in this video I will show you how you can use Submagic to create videos like them. I will also show you how you can create videos like Alex Ramosi, Iman Gatsi and Ali Abdal. And I will also give you access to all of the hidden features hidden within Submagic. So make sure to watch to the end and if you want to try out Submagic for yourself then use the discount code BANKEEP90 for a 10% discount and this also helps supporting my channel. So let's get started with creating our video. When we log in we hit on create and now we can upload our video. I have one right here and now we can give it a name so I'm gonna just name it test. Now I'm gonna hit upload and this takes like a minute maximum. This used to take very long but Magic has gotten pretty fast at it. Now our video is pretty much done already. All we have to do is tweak it a little bit and make it more custom to our own. So the first step that you have is choosing your style. And don't be fooled, I have a bunch of extra styles available. That's because I created my own custom styles. So you will probably have like the Hormozy effect like you're seeing right here. Here's a tool that I would recommend now let me scroll through a few of them so you know the different effects that we have. You have the Devon effect, then we also have the Ella effect, we have the Hormozy tree, William, this one, David, Iman, Ali Abdal, this is one of my favorites, Mr. Beast, the Umi one, this one is also pretty clean, and then the Noah one. The other ones are all custom fonts and I will show you how you can create your own custom font. So this works as follows. First you need to choose a font that you really like. For example I like the Iman style a lot because I think this one looks pretty clean. But I wanted to customize a little bit further so I click edit and now I can change the font. If you have the pro plan you can actually upload your own font and if you want to change the color you can do that right here. You can change the size. You can do like all uppercase or no uppercase. So for me, I personally like, like the all uppercase style. Then I don't like the shadows. I don't want the stroke either. I want to have like one word only. And sometimes it also gives you like two words, but it will basically give you like one line of captions. Now you can change the positioning because my black shirt just starts right here. I keep it right there. But keep in mind you have this toggle button and this is what most people don't show you but if you click on this then you will actually see like what the TikTok barrier is. So if you were to upload this on TikTok or on YouTube short it's probably wise to position it a little bit higher. So I'm just going to drag it over to here. Now we can also add in the animation. I'm going to click on yes. And the animation is custom for each font that you use. So for example the Alex Ramosi effect has a different animation than the Imangatsi effect. So play around with this and try it out on all different fonts. Now then we can add punctuation. I would like to keep this at no. And then we can choose if we want to add in emojis. Now some fonts come with emojis. The Imangatsi one is automatically turned off. So if I were to turn it on right now, then I have to add in like my emojis in here myself. So once you're happy with your own custom font, then you can click on this, you can give it a name and then you can click on create team. So I've done this right here, for example, with this Ella font and I really like the way this looks. Now what I don't have on this font is emojis. And if you want to add some emojis, this is how it works. For example, I want to have an emoji of like a tool when I'm talking about tools. So I'm just gonna click the plus button. Then I'm gonna search for like hammer. And now I have like a hammer and a wrench and these tools will pop up. Now you can also do something like a TV screen, for example. Some of the emojis are actually like animated, but it really depends on the type of font that you are using. So if I switch over to the Hormozy font, then you can see that this TV is actually animated. So let me give you an example. And to me, that's pretty special. Like it's more than just having emojis. It is also having animated emojis. So you no longer need an editor for that. So after you've chosen your preferred style, then it's time to go through the entire captions. And this is a bit tricky, but let me explain how I use this. So we have all of our different words in here. And for you, this might look a little bit different because I use just one word per line and now I just have a maximum of like two words. But what you can do is you can join lines together. So for example, I can use this move to the previous line and now it will look like this. 
And if I want to have this on the second line, then I add a line break. And now this one is moved over to the next line. So this way you can completely customize your own style. This will take you a little bit of time, but once you're used to it, it will go actually pretty fast. If a word is missing or it is spelled wrong, then you can simply like click on it and then you can adjust it and you can type on it. So for example, right here, I want to add like the website name and now it's added in there. And also if a word is missing, you click on the plus icon and now you can type in that word on a new line. Besides that, you can also, besides that, you can also highlight this by using a color. So for example, I can use this green one right here and now this will pop up in green. And this will give you the complete freedom to customize your font exactly the way you like it. Besides that, you can also add some sound effects. So on Submagic.co, for example, I would like to have a sound effect. And these are the sound effects that are available. We have the click one, then we have the ding, then we have the money effect, a pop, the staple, typing, and lastly, the whoosh effect. So you can choose the one that you like. If you want, for example, the whoosh effect, then you click on it, and now this is applied. It's called Submagic. And so now you heard this whoosh effect. Now here comes the exciting part, and that is adding in B-roll and GIFs to your video. So for example, right here, I would like to have some B-roll. And what I can do, there are two ways that I can add B-roll. I can add stock footage, and I do that by clicking on add. And here, for example, I type in editing, and now it will find stock footage of someone editing. So for example, I can do this. Now I can hit apply, and I can also add in a transition. So the transition options that we have is film burn, vintage, zoom out, zoom fast, comic, and zoom slow. I really like the film burn one. Now we have some B-roll on this segment. Actions like this, then head over to submit the co. So of course this isn't like the right B-roll on the right moment, but you get the idea. So you can change the B-roll for all of these effects. You can change the duration. If you want to have it shorter, then you drag this one over to the left. If you want to have it longer, then you drag it over to the right. Same for the starting time, you can also change that duration. Now, another cool thing that you can add in there is a GIF. So for example, on the discount code, I would like to add in a GIF. And if I go to GIF, I click on add. Now I can click on discount, for example. And now I click on this GIF that I like. I click on it, hit apply. And now I have a GIF right there. But I can also change positioning. I would like to have it above the text. So now we have this special deal pop up when I talk about discount. Head over to submit the code. Use the discount code DENKIEF9. So this is basically how you add in your B-roll, how you add in your GIFs, and how you also add in the transitions. You can also add in your own custom B-roll. You do that by clicking on Add, and then My B-rolls, and here you can upload your own video. So if you already have that, you can simply upload it. You don't need an editor. You can just use Submagic, and that's basically how it works. The last step is publishing your video. And before you publish your video, you might want to add some music to your video. So what you can do right here is you can click on add and now you can drag and drop your own music or you can search from it and then you can click on apply. And now your music has been added to your video. If you have no description yet for your video, then you can use this. You can also generate a long version. And now Submagic will generate a long description for your video based on your transcript. A cool hidden feature that no one talks about is the more option. If you click on more and you export only the subtitles, then you will get a green screen with your subtitles. Then you can use that in Adobe Premiere and then you can further edit your video. So with Submagic, you can get like the captions, the B-roll, also like the transitions and some animations. But if you want to animate it even further in Premiere Pro, then use this feature and now you can create awesome looking videos with the help of AI while also maintaining highest quality through Premiere Pro. So that's basically how you use Submagic. If you want to try out Submagic for yourself, then use the discount code DANKEEF90 for a 10% discount. This will also help support the channel. And make sure to click on this video right here if you want to learn how to edit like Iman Gatsi.